Hello crafty friends, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda and this is day 17 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. This two page layout is done by Sean Lair at Sean Lair 17. So be sure to check that out. And then here's a sneak peek view of what I did with it. I was looking at the layout and I realized with all of these heritage photos, I don't really have enough photos of one event to fill all of the slots. And as some of you may know, I do a lot of crafting with Kim Ferguson and she's also doing this um, 30 days of sketches. And she said, well, what if you break the page down into halves or break it into even thirds? Cause if you look at that sketch, it kind of breaks into thirds. So that's exactly what I did. I went through and I found photos that I, I really don't know much about, but I kind of think that they were similar or you know at least they were the same time frame or some of the same people so I did a grouping that way so here I'm going through my old miracle uh, scrapbook layouts and I am pulling pages that all have kind of that star green background on it and just seeing if I can use those as my base I I know that it's not going to match the sketch exactly, but for me, I really want to use these uh, pre-done base pages from that workshop from, you know, probably 10 years ago. And this is a way I can do that. So now I'm just kind of matching these up, seeing what will work. I'm going to put those two pages together. So there are the background for my layouts today. And I'm going to remove that little tab there because I don't think it's going to work well for me. So if we take a look at the sketch, like I said, where I'm kind of breaking it down into thirds, here are all the pieces, parts that I'm using to kind of unify all these pages for this heritage album. So between the leaves or the lace scalloped edge or even um, the flower shaping done in the colonial white coloring, that's kind of my theme or thread that's gonna hold all this together. So I chose to kind of group the colored older photos together. And I think a lot of those were from events that my mom did with Rainbow Girls. And there was some information or names on the back of just a couple of the photos. So I did write that down and you'll see later what I did with them. And then here I'm trying to honor the sketch with those three dark lines that are pretty solid. So I'm using my scallop lace edges for that I guess you'd call it so I just grabbed the pile of my thin cut flowers this is the 3d flower from close to my heart I am a close to my heart maker so mo much of the supplies and tools I use are from close to my heart so now I realize that I want to fill in that spot and I have I grab these four by six picture my life cards that I think will work perfectly for there so I am just going through to see if I can find something that will work as a title kind of cheating I didn't know I was thinking friends and if I have to I'll go and, and cut something but there's a card that says friends on it and I kind of registered it and then I realized the colors just didn't work so then I found this one that says and then this happened so I just thought that was a jumping off point for all these different stories. I'm not sure if my mom's going to know any of the stories or even any of the people in the photos, but at least it's, I'm trying to unify what's happening with the photos with the one title. So if you haven't, if you're new to my channel, I like to audition where I'm going to place things before I glue it all down. So I will do that with you and, and audition things. And then off camera, I will glue everything down. And sometimes they get shuffled a little bit, but for the most part, um, I try to stay true to where I lay things down. This morning is a little scattered. I've missed a couple days of sketches. So the 15th and the 16th, I don't have done yet. But my goal is to just jump back in here with the 17th, 18th and continue on. And then as I'm able to get my feet back under me with everything going on, I will do the 15th and 16th. And I'll just have a couple videos posted on one day. I want to ink the edges of these flowers. So I grabbed the new uh, shortbread. I was going to say buttercup, but it's shortbread ink pad. And then my mini blending brush or blending tool. Put a new ink pad on that because I don't have a color yet for shortbread. So I'm just 
going ahead and adding some color on the in on the center and I'm going to show you how I do one of the flowers with all of the edge distressing and all the sponge or the foam wasn't directly in the center of that mini blender tool and it was bothering me so that's why I tore it off and then um, repositioned it on the tool again just brushing the edges a little bit to kind of make the center really darker and then the tips of the flowers darker kind of like you see in nature it's almost like the pigmentation of the color goes to the outside here I'm shaping the petals and I put the front side down so I'm shaping them from the back side using my scoring tool there's stylus that you can use, there's bone folders that you can use, there's a whole bunch of tools that you can use. If you're unfamiliar with shaping flowers, I do have a three video series on um, doing just that. It's in the playlist called Flower Shaping. I will try to put a link on here if I didn't already put the link. So, um, I'll put it in the description so you can check that out if you want more information on flower shaping. And then you saw with my leaves, I also just pinch those together. And that just gives them a little interest. And when they're in the page protectors, they, they still gain some of that interest. So off camera, I glued everything down. The upper right corner was kind of um, open. So I went ahead and just added another set of leaves coming cascading off the top there. I cut out some of the, I think it's an almond color cardstock for the tags because my tag punches got packed and my embossing um, punches are a little too big. So I just need to go through and figure something out. But for the, the time being, I'm just cutting them by hand. I might just go and do a full sheet off of the Cricut when things settle down here. And here I'm taking the avocado shimmer brush and just adding a little bit of sparkle to kind of break things up. That's also what I used on the inside of the flowers to give them that textured look. And like I said, there was some information on the back of the photos that I've just included on those tags so that they're all, um, as much information as I have is on the layout. And maybe when my mom gets this, one memory will spark another memory and she'll be able to tell me more about it and we can write it down. Here's how you can connect with me. I do have a Facebook group, uh, Crafting with Amanda VIP group, so come on over there. Here's another video you may be interested in. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, that, a like, a comment are all great ways to pay your compliments and say that you like this video. Have a blessed day.